Hi guys, so in this series we will be going to learn more about programming in microcontroller PIC 18F458. The two instructions that we will cover in this video will be MOLW and LW. The instruction MOLW is used to move a literal value L to the working register W. So let's consider the instruction MOLW 25H. The 25H represents 25 in hexadecimal. So this instruction moves or copies a value 25H to the working register that is WREG. So if we get to the next instruction that is MOLW 10H, the working register changes its value to 10H that is 10H is moved to the working register. The previous value is gone, 25H is not stored anywhere. So now the working register holds the value 10H. Let's consider the instruction 7FFH. This instruction tries to move 7FFH to the working register but since we know the working register is of 8 bit size, 8 bits can be named as D0, D1 up to D7. So the values which could be stored is from 0 to 225 in decimal or 0 to FF in hexadecimal. That is a value greater than these specified values won't be stored properly. If we try to move a value that is uh, having greater bits than consider it has bits to D9 in its binary form. So it will truncate it here and it will store only this value from D0 to D7 and that is what happens here. Here only FFH is stored in this working register the higher bit that is 7 is removed. So if the number was 5 6 3 h consider 5 6 3 h so the value which will be stored in this wreg will be only 6 3 h the higher bit that is 7 will be trunk uh, 5 will be truncated so coming to the next instruction that is add lw this instruction is used to add a literal value to the working register in order to add a value we should have a value in the working register so for that first we move a value 2h to the working register and now the working register will contain the value 2h then we add the value 3h. So the sum is 2 plus 3 that is 5h will be stored in the working register. If we further add a value 4h it will get added to the result in this working register that was 5h and then now the result will be 9h which will be stored in the working register. Okay let's consider another code. Move LW D20. D20 means 20 in decimal. For that we use this notation capital D and the number is put in the semicolons. Similarly, if we have to represent a binary number, we put small b and the number in semicolons. So if we move the value D20, 20 will be stored in the working register and the instruction is move LW D20. Add LW B110 that is 110 in binary means 6 in decimals so 20 plus 6 that is 26 will be stored in the working register. Now let's move a value 34H. Move LW 34H. Now the working register changes to 34H and our result was gone. So working register is not a good place to store our result for that we should copy this value to a file register and that we will cover in the upcoming videos. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.